Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter. Welcome to your Tennis Now News Update. The French Open gets underway next month and nine-time champion Rafa Nadal will not be getting a raise at Roland Garros. The tournament director told French publication L'Equipe the tournament will not raise Rafa's seeding despite his 66-1 career record in Paris because he says Rafa's struggles are related to his form, not an injury. Guibert Isern says in 2013, Rafa was injured, so that was different. But this time it's not an injury, and it's his level of play. So Rafa gets no favors. So here's how it goes. If Rafa loses early in Madrid or in Rome, he could fall out of the top four in the rankings. And that means Rafa could face world number one Novak Djokovic before the semifinals at the French Open. And the odds makers say Nole's gonna take it. However, Roger Federer won't quite give Djokovic the edge. He says he sees the two as co-favorites. Fed says when the French Open rolls around, Rafa is just too hard to beat. And speaking of Roger Federer, he returns to action this week in Istanbul. Roger and Grigor Dimitrov hit the practice courts together in what looks like color-coordinated outfits. And in case you can't tell them apart, Roger's wearing the orange shirt, Grigor is in the black shirt. And by the way, Roger is starring in a new Mercedes ad showing off his intense training and fast driving. The best doesn't come easy, but the best is always worth it. And congratulations go out to Serena Williams, who hits a milestone this week, celebrating her 114th consecutive week as world number one, surpassing Hall of Famer Chris Everett for the third longest streak in WTA history. That now puts Williams behind only Steffi Graf and Martina Navratilova for most consecutive weeks at number one. And here's a nice photo Serena posted with her big sister Isha, all dressed up before starting her clay court campaign. Well, some of the Spanish players are having a little fun before Estoril gets underway. Feliciano Lopez and Mark Lopez hit the beach, even tried a little surfing. And it looks like catching a wave wasn't much of a problem, but riding the wave a little more tricky for Fernando. And finally, something to chew on the next time you practice your serves. We're going to show you how the big boys do it. First, from Fernando Verdasco's practice in Madrid. You've got two cans of tennis balls set up in both corners of the service box. So how many swings does it take for Fernando to knock one over? Well, just one. Check it out. That's not so hard. <laughs> Milos Raonic is such an explosive server, he can shatter his racket just hitting a few practice serves, or so it seems. You know, I think that racket might have been already cracked a bit, but still, quite a display of power from Milos. That's the news for now. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to follow us on Facebook. I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.